Hey, thanks for tuning in. Coach John here. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, don't forget about the bell notification. I want to talk to you in this video about an incredible little strategy, a saving strategy that my wife and I used to save tens of thousands of dollars. Yes, tens of thousands of dollars, right? And it actually got us to the point where we were able to doing this um, the little saving strategy that we use, we're able to invest some of that money, um, make other uh, investments into properties and things like that to the point where we actually built up over a million dollar net worth. And it started with this really basic, simple saving strategy, all right? Works like this. Um, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the bank, you're gonna open up two savings accounts, right? You have savings account number one, savings account number two. Here's the key. Savings account number one can be attached to your checking, but savings account number two has to remain autonomous. It has to be totally independent on its own, not attached to any other accounts. And here's why we do that. We don't attach that to any other accounts, so we don't have easy access to that money, right? That money stays there. It's like paying a utility bill or an insurance payment, all right? You do not have access to that money. You never touch that money until I will tell you when. <laughs> um, but so two savings accounts. You're going to start by um, basically uh, it takes 25 bucks to set up a savings account, sometimes less, sometimes more, sometimes $100. Depends on the bank. So you're going to set up two savings accounts. If you have to set one up initially, wait and then set up a second one, that's fine too. But what you're going to do is you're going to actually take um, the first account and you're going to build it up to a hundred dollars. Then you're going to take half of that money and dump it into the second account. Okay. So you build this one up to a hundred. This one may have 25 in it. You dump that into the second account, um, which gives you $50 and 75 bucks or hundred bucks or whatever it is. And we'll just use a hundred dollar increments, um, to, give you an idea of how the strategy works. It's easier for me to do it with a hundred bucks. So you're gonna start out $100, $100. You're gonna build this one up to 200. Then you're gonna take half the money out and dump it into this one, all right? So then what happens is you are gonna take then this first account, you're gonna build it up to match the second. So 200, 200. Then you're gonna take half out and put it into this one. So now you have $300 and $100. You're gonna build up the first one to match the second one, $300, $300. Take half of that out, dump it into the second one, right? So now you have $450 and $150, and then you're gonna build this first one up to match the second. You're gonna keep doing that, never, ever, ever touching the second account. If you need to, you can access a little bit of money out of that first account, but that second account never, ever, ever gets touched. Now, as simple as this sounds, as I'm gonna tell you a little secret, this was a way my wife and I were able to literally build tens of thousands of dollars in a very short period of time. And the reason it works is this, when you start getting excited about building something up and it's a competitive thing, right? Each account is in competition with the other. So when you start to focus on saving that money, you're gonna start building that money and we're looking at reasons why you shouldn't spend your money on other things and why you should be dumping money into that savings account. We did that strategy. We're able to save up over $30,000. We ended up taking about 10,000 out of that and buying our first home with that. And our first home, yep, this is gonna take you, this will give you my age. But our first house was $50,000. And it wasn't a very big house, but it was a nice house, a nice little property, $50,000. We were able to put $10,000 down. That actually saved us having to pay the mortgage insurance on the house so we sold that house about a year and a half later for uh, almost $100,000, so doubling our money. We went back and did the same kind of strategy, Just kept building money, kept building money, kept building money. Um, and, and we were able to really fund an incredible life just by doing that. Now, here's the other thing. As a professional, all right, I don't care what kind of work you do, you need to have at least six months to a year worth of money in savings. Um, one of the reasons we're, you know, a lot of people are struggling right now because they don't have any savings saved up. And we used to always say, look, 85% of the population are going to die broke um, or with less than $500 in their savings account. You don't allow that to happen to yourself. 
Don't do that to yourself. Have a nest egg built up and you never know when you wanna make a career change, if you happen to lose your job, if you're, the company you work for ends up going out of business, right? You need to have something to back up your income and your lifestyle so it doesn't change while you're looking for another job or transitioning, um, whether it's opening your own business and you're trying to build up a revenue stream to be able to pay yourself, you need to have that revenue in the bank to be able to rely on it. So the saving strategy, I'm telling you, it works, try it. Do it for six months and if it doesn't at least get you a couple thousand dollars in the bank, guys, then uh, give me a you know comment below. But this strategy works. Um, it's a great way to save money. And remember, don't touch that money unless you build it up significantly to where you want to use a little bit of it. And then the key is, is this, you can only take out to invest 25% of the income off or the money out of that second account um, to use towards something else. And remember, I talked about this in my you want to be rich video or how to be rich video. The difference between rich people and poor people are what they invest their money in, right? You either buy assets that bring you more wealth or you buy stuff and, and stuff loses value, it depreciates and it ends up being worth nothing. Assets bring you more money. So focus your money on assets, build those savings accounts and do me a favor, play the savings game. Hey, hit that subscribe button. Love to send you more videos. Have a good day. Bye-bye.